Welcome back. This is the second part of the video of the Fluke 87 RFI issue. Uh, my name is Chris Johnson. And basically what I did is I cleaned off all the tape. Uh, the tape that I used was ordinary metallized duct tape that you can get in any home goods store. Um, it is conductive on one side, it's metallized, and on the other side it's not conductive. So when I had it taped across there, it wasn't uh, shorting out anything underneath the tape. You want to be really careful of that. Um, and I wouldn't run the tape on there. Uh, this is just for test purposes uh, for the RFI. Um, I wouldn't recommend keeping the tape on there uh, for, for if you're doing any measurements of any type of voltages or anything like that. So it's just really for test. Uh, I took off the shielding on the LCD side right here and I took off all the shielding on the bottom. Uh, now we're going to test this out. This is the original issue with this meter. Um, let me dial my well, I lost cell service again. Okay, I'm not going to have this happen again. So, uh, bear with me for a minute. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. You see the meter set blinking. Uh, it hasn't shut off yet. I've had it, sh ha I've had it shut off before. Um, okay, let's try this again. Uh, lost the cell again. I'm down in the basement, so I'm not going to be getting that much of a cell signal down here. Okay, there we go. You can hear the data stream going. And it's primarily off to the left here, and also in the back. You can see it. Now this is what the lead's on. And you can see it. That's going nuts. Alright, so that's my uh, sort of solution for this, uh, is, is to shield it. Um, the guys that fluke, what you guys can probably do is uh, shield that section all in here, just like the original fluke I showed you in the other video. And um, I, there's a real problem around this area here with the piezo uh, goes in. You can see that in the back cover here, um, there is a little bit of a gap there for shielding and stuff like that. So that's probably where it's getting into. So that's it. So that's my video on how to where this thing is coming from. Uh, overall, I like the Fluke 87. It's a great meter. Uh, I've had uh, several Fluke 87s all the way from version 1 up to 5. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, my original one actually is about 20 years old. Uh, and it's held up all these years, so almost every day use. So, good product. Uh, I think I just got to change the design a little bit uh, to make it a little bit better. Uh, for that RFI issue. Uh, another thing I want to try too is other frequencies before I forget. Uh, right here on my hand I have a 2 meter 70 centimeter amateur radio. I'm going to transmit on um, VHF. This is actually I'm on 440 right now. 440 megahertz. Uh, no issues there. Uh, maybe, this is 5 watts by the way. Um, on VHF no issues there so it looks like somewhere really up high there's, there's some issues uh, probably above one gig or so and that's pretty much it uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope this uh, gives you a little bit of thought on, on uh, interference issues and I'll see you later